Kalamazoo's favorite son, Derek Jeter, returned to his hometown to give back to the school that helped shape his legendary baseball career. News 8's David Horak was at his alma mater, Kalamazoo Central High School, for the ribbon cutting ceremony where he graced the field back then and helped renovate it today. Before he became one of baseball's greatest, Derek Jeter grew up in a home literally just beyond left center field there, and he remembers jumping the fence to play catch. It's a little harder to jump the fences nowadays, man, than it was when I was younger. Two, one, three. Yet he and his sister Charlie still returned to the fields they graced as Maroon Giants then and helped renovate today. One, two, throw. Nearly five months after ground was broken, the ribbon was cut on Kalamazoo Central's new baseball and softball fields, which feature new dugouts, bathrooms, and synthetic turf fields. When you do it, you want to do it right, so you're not sitting here three, four, five years down the road saying you wish you would have done something differently. Plus, we're eliminating excuses for the players now, right, when they're, when they're out here performing. Today marks the official unveiling of our new baseball and softball fields. But it wasn't just the Jeter family's foundation turn two that helped cover the total cost of $5 million. We were both encouraged to use the platform that baseball provided us to give back and make a difference in the lives of young people. Fellow baseball Hall of Famer and Iron Man himself, Cal Ripken Jr. also pitched in through his foundation that bears the name of his father. If you sneak back when all this pomp and circumstance is gone and you see how the kids use the field, how they appreciate the field, um, um, that's the real magic uh, of what we do. So I, I enjoy seeing uh, how it transforms from uh, shovel in the ground to uh, ribbon cutting, but I really enjoy seeing how it's used. To have Cal here supporting, you know, his foundation supporting ours. I've looked up to Cal, not just as a player, but as a person. You know, he sets the standard for athletes to give back post-career. You know, he did it during his career, but he's taking it to another level post-career. It's one they hope to teach the next generation from their time jumping over and swinging for the fences. You have a little, give a little. If you have a lot, give a lot. And, um, you know, we've just been in a position, thanks to Derek, um, to really give back to the community in a meaningful way. Very happy for um, the school. I'm happy for the teams. People are, the kids are going to get a chance to play here. And it just brings back a lot of memories. Both of these fields are not yet finished. Press boxes are expected to be installed by the start of next season. We're at Derek Jeter Field. David Horak, News 8.